What's up, everybody? <laughs> the scholar is here, and today we are gonna we're gonna pop this box, guys. This is an exciting set for me because uh, it just like really really like caught my eye. I'm building a uh, Marchesa dealer death deck. So um, anything like kind of Grixis with Grixis colors, anything that target opponents is just like uh, right up my alley right now. So I'm just very excited about some of the cards in here. And, uh, and for instance, there's a, a two mana red drop. It's two red. And basically each time your opponent um, draws a card, it deals one damage to them, it targets them, which would be perfect for Marchessa, just like free crimes, basically. So really cool stuff overall. And uh, let's just get this uh, popping. I usually don't open up booster boxes. And um, well, that's very cool. So you know what, I think what we'll do, like, um, for this particular opening is that we'll just we'll just set up this pack aside and we'll give it away to somebody that'd be kind of fun and i'll give you like a couple other cool cards that i really like all you have to do is like comment put a comment in the description and uh and be a subscriber and i guess i'll just do like a random number generator and i'll send you some swag stuff and that'd be very cool um and that's coming up that'll be for the 200 subscribers i'll send that off that'd be very fun okay so there's that one, we put that one aside, but we get a whole bunch of cards here. Um, so I guess we'll just kind of go like, like one bit one bit at a time and just kind of go from there. So Dustmorn, very cool. I'm kind of just hoping on some <clears throat> particular rares. Like I think most, like, most of the cards are cool. I think it really fits Grixis colors especially. Um, there's a lot of good Rixus things. We'll kind of just get an idea of what we're working with here. So we got some we got some rares in the front. This is a cool looking card already. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each other creature until end of turn. Whenever a creature you control dies, exile the top card of your library. You may play it till next next turn. Okay, that is really interesting, guys. Waltz of Rage. Thing about, I think people would say like, well, it's contingent on having a creature on the battlefield, right? So maybe not as good, right? And you have to target them as well. You have to go a little through a couple hoops. Rosh's Carnival had an uncommon in that. And we have this cool little door here, Painter's Studio. So this is in a room, it is counts as an enchantment. I was wondering how these would work with like uh, blinking effects, but I suppose uh, you still have to unlock them, right? <clears throat> so this particular one, Painter Studio, Deface Gallery, the first door. When you unlock this door, exile the top two cards of your library. You may play them until the next end of your next turn. Whenever you attack, attacking creatures control get 1-0 until end of turn. Very well. So that's like just our red enchantment there. That's some um, uncommons here and like a really interesting <laughs> white creature here. That's very interesting. Couple more commons. Another room. How oh, cool. All right, so that was our first one. Up to the next. I hope you're all doing well today. It's very hot in Vegas. I was gonna say it's like the endless summer and uh, <laughs> It's uh, really, really kind of getting a little bit out of hand. It's just very hot here still in Vegas. It truly is an endless summer, guys. All right, what's this, a ley line? That's kind of cool. That's uh, This is like a throwback card, right? That's very cool, guys. A ley line of the void and foil? I think that's a win. I think it's a serious win. I'll take that. That's sick. Okay, cool. Ley line of the void, eh? Just exile it if it's put into graveyard. Good sideboard card. Here's another Waltz of Rage. How interesting. Okay. And then we have our uncommons here. This per, um, Severn 7. I'm sure you guys watch Magic. He's a content creator. He'd show this in his new standard deck. Very cool card, huh, guys? Put some stuff in your graveyard and you can, like, destroy any target permanent without a downside. It's a pretty cool Delirium card, right? Pretty sweet. I always like little two-man artifacts. I wonder what this one does. 
When friendly Teddy dies, each player each player draws a card. Okay, very well. I don't know if I have the stamina for a full pack opening though, guys, for a full box opening. <laughs> Might just get some of these through these here and there. Haunted screen. Okay. Really bizarre card to be honest, guys. Kind of like a chromatic lantern that you can pay into. Good in Commander, I suppose, if you want to fix your colors and have another threat. Is that my rare? No, it's uncommon. Silent Hall Creeper. Two mana, rare. It cannot be blocked. Whenever Silent Hall Creeper deals combat damage to a player, choose one that hasn't been chosen. Put two counters on this creature. Draw a card. Silent Hall Creeper becomes a copy of another target creature you control. That's pretty nuts. Pretty cool card. I like that one. There's always something to say about these one mana, or these two mana one ones that can't be blocked, like the suspicious stowaway and such, where they're, um, you know, they can either be very good or very poor. You know, they can get removed easily, uh, but they are, they are having upside, there's no doubt. Disturbing mind, this, or disturbing mirth, this is one of these. Sacrifice enchantments get value from sacrificing your things. <clears throat> Anything here that I wanted to pull out? Yeah, I'll pull out the creeper. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool uh, branding. I, I do like this. I think this is a big win for them. I feel like... Uh, they're an interesting company, that's to say the least, but they have some uh, they have some really cool themed products, so maybe that is the design. Thornspire Verge. Add red, add green. Activate only if you control a mountain or for, oh a verge. I got a verge. I'm very excited about this, guys. Yeah. So it's so add the red, the, like no matter what. And then for the green, you can it's it, that is a uh, that will be contingent of controlling a mountain or forest. A very interesting card. It counts as a land. It doesn't have a, for, a land subtype. So it's kind of interesting, right? Let me just put these up a little bit closer up there. Yeah. All right. Attack in the box. Whenever it attacks, you may get, have it get four until end of turn. If you do sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. <coughs> little Selesnya equipment here. Okay. Bashful Beastie. Jump scare. How cool is that? It's very terrifying, guys. What a cool what a cool set. Very spooky stuff. All right, so we are looking for the overlords, of course. That would that'd be preferred. Got a nice little holographic uh, planes here. Beautiful. Oh, I got an enduring card. That's fantastic. These are good, right? <coughs> I don't know if I've seen this in Constructed yet, but a lot of the enduring creatures are playable. That's cool. A haste enabler? Very cool. Mm, on a dog. Whenever another creature you control enters, it gets two and gains haste until end of turn. That's really nice. When Enduring Courage dies, if it was a creature returned to the battlefield, it's an enchantment. Oh, it still has the same effect. What? Cool card. Super cool. Piggy bank. Okay, cool card. Yep, cool card. Um, anything else going on here? So, a cool little Demir card here.
got a 1 4. That's an interesting. Dang, bro. The big booty flyer. That's a fun card. That is fun. Very interesting. Interesting can't be bad, right? Has to be semi good. All I know is that like, if you're not playing magic with your graveyard by now, you're probably not playing the game. <laughs> Like, everything is so, like, graveyard synergized now, it seems. Like, even in the last sets, just looking at the card pool, like, in general, for, like, building graveyards in blue, there's so many blue support that came out. Like, even in the last set, there was, um, God, there was the Founding of the Third Path. And then there was, uh, let's see, like, the Fili the Fijilin. Um, something or rather, and then there was also like a fairy that also milled cards too. It's like it was just like a complete um, like bomb for blue. Like blue just got like immediate access to all things graveyard. It was pretty wild. That combined with like some of the pre-existing cards that do so well in like for instance blue and white colors like resurrection archetypes, it gets so much stronger. It's like the graveyard is such a is such a big part of this game now. You know. Seems it already always was, but it seems there's just even more support being printed all the time. <coughs> all right, so here's this Marina Vendril. That's a cool rare. That's five colors rare. Did I get anything else cool? No, not really. Just a common. And uh, this particular card, when it enters, reveal the top seven cards of the library. Put all enchantment cards from among them into your hand. That's very cool. Gas. We love that. Seems great. Seems, seems great. And then you can... Oh, I have to build this chick. She's beautiful, guys. She's speaking to me. Okay, we're just going to have to move these. All right. She seems um very cool, guys. I just love that amount of just, like, value. Just instant, instant, instant look into your top seven and then put all the enchantment cards into your hand. Wow. That seems really cool. I do love five colors too. A human warlock, huh? Very interesting. Maybe it would play more black white than anything. Maybe. I would just assume that. You would really have to grind out the the game. Maybe you have to be a little bit more grindy. And black and white can definitely do that. So I hope you're all doing well today on this excellent Friday. Hope you're all just chilling, chilling like a villain. This new set's great. I do, I do, I do like it. Dig it. We are still looking for the 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 overlords. Preferably the black one would be fantastic. But um, I'd also be satisfied with that red rare too that just pings. Twitching doll. Okay. That is so cool. <coughs> very, I, I like that card. I think that is very cool. Hey, I got another uh, enduring in this sense here. Fantastic. So this is the one colorless to to white. Whenever one or more creatures you control with power two or less enters, draw a card. This ability triggers only once each turn. Okay, so it's like a welcoming vampire. Cool. And then it can just have that longevity. Okay, very cool. Found footage. What do you do? <coughs> okay. 
That is a really cool surveil, actually. Oh, I like this a lot, guys. I love this a lot for my Mario deck. I mean, the face down creatures, you're trying to control any time. Yeah. It's, it's pretty badass, actually. I don't know what the face down thing would be any good for me, but I'll put that one aside. It's kind of like the idea of just tapping it for mana and then if I want like surveilling and drawing from that. Turn inside out, I've been seeing this one. It's like a 3-0 combat trick. Manifest Dread, okay. So far, Marina Vendril, I'm just like super stoked about. <clears throat> the only thing like holding me back on this card is like the colors, but honestly, I'd probably build it as like a black white commander. Just like a really nasty, like grindy, super grindy black white Orzhov nastiness. That would be kind of fun. Fear of Abduction. All right, this is our rare, it's the Entity Tracker. Anything else in here? All right. Entity Tracker, let's read this one. Whenever an enchantment you control enters and whenever you fully unlock a room, draw. Fine, sounds great. <clears throat> Does this just like go like into this? Yeah, that seems like a built together card. They might be friends. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, that's very cool, guys. Very cool touch there. Forest. Marvin the Murderous Mimic. Cool art. When a Mer Marvin the Murderous Mimic has all activated ability of creatures you control that don't have the same name as this creature. How fun. All right, so we're going to get all those. Dude. Yeah? Okay. Very good, like, interesting, maybe mono green kind of. Just thinking about, like, mana abilities and such. Good ones like Silvala. The Mega Mana ability. Hmm. Very cool. Might be worth a buck. <coughs> Say its name, it's getting a little bit of play. Basically, can if you have three in your graveyard, you can uh, resurrect the, or I think tutor for this Altonic and put it on the battlefield. It's pretty cool. Get some gas along the way. Put that over here. Pyroclasm. Fear of Infinity. Hmm. All right, here we go, Winter's Intervention. Reluctant role model. It's a human survivor. Huh, pretty interesting. Hey, I got another Verge. All right, guys, let's go. I'll just put that here. Got a... Got a deck building right here and needs attention. Let's play a game. What a title. <laughs> that's, uh, that's an interesting one. Kind of makes you the arch enemy, right? 
Jeez. It's a lot of value for four mana. A lot of value, guys. Hmm. Doesn't target for my Marchessa, but I'll put that one to the side. Kind of particular about certain spells. What do you do, percussionist? Okay. That's cool. I love cracking packs, guys. Brings me back. Brings me back, baby. Ah, I thought it was like an Overlord, but I think this card is pretty well played now, too. It's a very good Delirium card, right? Wow, lots of counters, huh? How do I get those things in my graveyard, though? I'm sure there's ways. <laughs> <coughs> what? Dude, do I have to add, like, uh... Some some way to get the graveyard, <laughs> a little bit of a graveyard built in my Arwen deck. Jeez, two one one encounters among two one or two target creatures. Yikes! How prevalent are card types, anyways? Jeez, let me get your fetch land. Put a bunch of fetch lands in your deck. Creatures die. Sorceries, instant, enchantment, artifact. Battle, and now I guess room is an enchantment, right? Yeah. All right, I guess we got through the first round, man. This is kind of fun though. I'm gonna do like three more for this and then call it there. We'll get the other sets rolling through. So let's just rock through here. Ah, oh, yes, guys. What a way to like go, go to the finish line. This is exactly the card I was talking about. It's so shiny. So shiny. So, uh, yeah. Ooh. Razorkin Needlehead. When uh, this card is perfect for crimes because it's your semi Grixis colors for red, of course. And uh, additionally, it's a human assassin. And Razorkin Needlehead has first strike during your turn. Okay, that's fine. Whenever an opponent draws a card, Razorkin Needlehead deals one damage to them. So that's perfect. Like, opponents draw <laughs> are always drawing cards. Of course, easily, right? And then with Marchessa, each time we target them, um, because this this creature targets some of that damage, it deals them a damage. Uh, then we go ahead and um, we're going to pay that one and and look at our top two, put one in the graveyard, and, and put the other in our hand. And that is a really strong effect for us. And so, wow, I think Marchessa is a gangsta, really gangsta baby. So that's very exciting for me. It's a beautiful card. Um, we have the sewer here. Is that a rare battle? It is. How did it get like so out of order? I wonder if I missed any other rares. It's possible. Oh, people love the furnace. This one is, uh, the first side deals damage based on the number of cards in your hand. Yes. It's like a fire's victory, right? And then on the second side, you get to draw gas. You get to like unlock that door and start drawing cards. It's great. Cool enchantment. All right, dude. All right, come on, guys. Let's get that Overlord. OK, 
Okay, it looks like, okay, we just got a full art mountain this time. Oh, yeah, a shrieker. Cool, guys. This box is sick. Whenever Hauntwood Shrieker attacks, manifest dread. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one onto the battlefield face down as a 2 2 creature, and the other onto your graveyard. Turn it face up any time for its mana cost if it's a creature card. One colorless, one green. Reveal target face down permanent if it's a creature card. You may turn it face up. Okay, then. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Hold up. This is like a new, um, this would be very good with like Tyvar, right? Or is it, um, I believe so. It's a new Tyvar, right? Tyvar killed. Or no, Eladomri. I'm seeing Eladomri where you just have the big fatties, right? That's the attack. Hmm. Mutant, a beast mutant. How interesting. <coughs> Very interesting card, guys. Put that over here. <coughs> Lots of artifacts in that slot. All right, this will be the uh, the last one. Thanks for joining me. Remember, we're gonna be giving out a little cool booster here. So go ahead and put a like and comment on it. Let me know you're out there and I'll, I'll be sending you this cool pack. And um, some, some more cards from my collection. It'll be kind of cool, like some promo cards and maybe a cool rare. It'll be some cool stuff. All right, sweet. Try to do that. All righty here. Clockwork. Percussionist. Abandoned campground. Zamone. Got a lot of gas in here. Zamone, hey? Three Simic. At the beginning of your end step, if a land entered the battlefield under your control this turn, and you control a prime number of lands, create Primo, the Indivisible, a legendary 00, zero green and fra blue fractal creature token, and put that many 1-1-1 one, one, one counters on it. How oh, fun. Seems very cool. I like that. It just seems interesting. All right, so there's that guy. There's Altanok. That's the one that will be named, right? The baddie. Exercise. <coughs> Just checking if I missed a rare or not. All right, gotta love the cards, guys. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.